we have seen uh, the my my dentist clinics. Now. So actually, why don't you talk about your story, your background, your family business, where you come from? How did you get in touch with various investors? What what was the process you went through when you met us in some years? Yes, come on, and please criticize us. <laughs> Don't be nice just because we give you money and all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I started off uh, with a job after graduation. Now, I, I'll start five years back because before that was not something that was. So, I, uh, I somebody, I could leave, uh, with the last time somebody was there and said, you know, I want to do something part time, there's a job going on, you know, I'll, I'll generate some money and then I'll quit my job. I was trying to do that. Then I didn't work out for two years, then I quit my job finally from ICC Bank. Then I joined my family business for some time, yeah. second generation. And uh, in the family business, we supply dental equipment to companies and uh, to individual practitioners. I was not enjoying it a lot, maybe because I, I didn't have an inclination towards uh, that business. So then, forward, you know, the direct forward integration from there would have been something related to uh, rental. So now, that's when I decided we put up one or two clinics of our own. The main reason was when we go to these, uh, when I went to sales pitches for uh, uh, selling my equipment, I saw a lot of uh, distrust among patients mm -hmm. for their uh, dentists. That's where the need was somewhat visible. And we tried, we started, we put up two clinics, three clinics for stuff and uh, that time we thought that we would, we should be going in for some more funding because then I didn't see the path forward and I was out of money and uh, all three clinics were doing well, we were making sufficient money. Uh, the reason for <coughs> getting invest and invest external investment was, I didn't get what is your business? We have dental clinics, it's very simple. Okay. We have dental clinics. Okay. We have a dentist working in the clinic giving dental services. <laughs> no rocket science. Simple dentistry. Okay. That's what we have set up. We have a uh, we, we have a, a group of dentists who work for us. They are on the payroll. And uh, we provide general dental <coughs> services at very affordable prices. Uh, at the best possible sterilization standards. And that's not, it's not available very easily in Bombay today. And services are very expensive. People compromise on uh, sterilization standards, procedures. We don't do that. Primary uh, differentiation is in terms of the transparency that we hold with the patient. We let the patient know everything. All our records are online. All our records are shared with the patient. We give a file back to the patient. So it's more on transparency and honesty than anything else. Otherwise, we don't have any differentiation in terms of service. We provide the same thing for other dentists. So this is what the three things were doing previous to funding. And then we decided in order to grow further, we would need some funds. Somebody who has a better vision than what uh, uh, what we had at that point of time. And that's why the incubator helped us. Fortunately, we, we did. We, we went to a very few of these. Are these three? I don't. I, I don't recall to more than three people. So, but fortunately, we got in touch with Seed Fund, and uh, they incubated us. And for any person who's looking out for funds, I would rather say, you know, incubation is the best way going on. Had, had I got money from some venture capitalist or angel who was uh, gave me the money and going and, to, and told to, and would have told me that you know could you go ahead with your project, put in whatever you want. I don't think we would have reached what we reached. A lot of uh, changes happened post funding. The name of the company changed, the name of the brand changed to start with. We did feel at, at the onset that you know some things I don't think are required. But now looking back, I think with the name that I had earlier, TDC Dental Clinic, <laughs> I don't think it would have worked. My dentist is actually worse. Uh, you can ask, because we have a random survey that's conducted at the end of every week where our consultor exit call these people up, our patients and ask them. They remember the name, they don't remember the name of the dentist. All they know is, we went, 
you might invest to get a complete. They don't care who the interest was. They don't care how long they were created, nothing. The reason is the brand is working. And the brand was absolutely created with the help of Simba. I had no vision of that at that point of time. That grew after our association with Chief Bird. They incubated us. They, uh, they got... In fact, even you know, when, when we went to them, I only had numbers in my mind. You know? We could have 10 clinics, 20 clinics, 30 clinics. Now, I'm not giving numbers. I'm saying we'll be the largest dental chain in Mumbai by the next year. Doesn't matter what the number. This comes only after you go through such a uh, process. So, do you want to talk a little more about uh, the kind of people that you had advise you, you know, two seeds of viruses, the kind of branding and design exercise that you went through? So, yeah, when I go back December last year, that's when we went into this funding process. So we had three clinics working functionally very nice. Every all dentists were in place. And then we got funded. And then we had an external advisor who came on and told us that you know this TDC thing, it's not good. So and we had a visit across to all clinics and um, the other we, uh, the other person had seen fund. Partner, Anand Lonian. He was also very instrumental. And uh, the Mr. Sridham, he is the founder of Crossword, the bookstore. Uh, and with the other team members at Seed Fund, including my. So, people had an opinion that, that the place that we've developed over time, the three clinics, they don't look appealing, they don't feel comfortable. So, we shut all of them down. So, we are we are back to stage one. We had no business, we didn't have any clinics. So we closed all the clinics down and started all over again. And uh, that's when the branding process started. Everything from scratch. The entire branding uh, was outsourced to a company in Pune in association with Frida. The brand was redeveloped and then relaunched. All the clinics were made up. All the equipment was changed, and now what we are today is all because of that. Do you want to talk a little about the negotiation and the stake and the money process? Was it painful? Was it not painful? That's what you guys want. Uh, as far as the negotiation thing is concerned, see, I mean, for a startup, the stage that I was, uh, we asked for money. They said this is the money that we give, and there's a the stake. I, I didn't, frankly, I didn't think about. I just went there. I, I mean, it, it's a lot of money, right? I mean, it takes a lot of time. Had we, had I gone back and asked for people, it's going to take a lot of time. And as far as, as far as start, the startup is concerned, I think time is more valuable than the money. Maybe I save on five to ten percent of stake by going to ten people. What's the issue? You'd rather finish the deal, close the deal, and start working. Right? <coughs> Many people have two term sheets in hand and then they take and they take, talk, uh, take out two months and then later on select one term sheet. You'd rather finish off and close the deal with one team, one term sheet and go ahead. Can you mention how you have been pursuing the business? How do you have to have the value in this and how do you have the value in the process? So, uh, I, I look, we had various uh, discussions with uh, Vikram and uh, Steve. One of the discussions very early on was we want to be a large dentist chain. I remember we were such plans were to come in to Bangalore, Delhi, Pune, and so on and so forth. And one of the key things we immediately said out was, look, let's let's rule Bombay. Don't worry about everything else. So we said, okay, at what point do we believe we will get stacked? You know, we we'll get uh, 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 saturated in Bombay. And we agreed about 50 clinics, yes. around 50, right? So we said, okay, fine. So let's just go. Room. Rather than do five in Bombay, five in Delhi, five in Bangalore, we said, uh, and a lot of this was not just our experience, but also Sridham's experience. So Sridham is the founder of Crossword, also Landmark and Walden, and you know, best, uh, better retail minds in India. Very clear that you want to rule one city, and then, you know, it's like how Alexander the Great conquered the world was not by sending five troops to 50 countries, but putting 2,000 troops captain, you know, conquering one country, then going to the next and then to the next. We said, right now your job is let's, let's rule Bombay. So I think he kind of immediately got it and said, okay. The next thing was to say, who are we talking to? So we did a 
And as to the very clear, we are talking to middle class, we are not talking to upper class, we are talking about pricing. An idea would be we do scaling session for 200 rupees a day. <laughs> so, uh, however, so what we what we believe was that there was uh, so we had a little bit of experience with having a Batsalia, we had 17 Batsalia hospitals, 16 print uh, print shops around India. We believe in the value of creating uh, a strong healthcare property, a healthcare brand, which stands for high quality, affordable services in healthcare. Uh, we had a similar vision. We work very hard on economics. So a lot of the issue was on the unit level economics. You want to talk about unit level economics? Yes. So in fact, even introducing the phrase of unit level economics. <laughs> I, I am a very low person. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't work a lot with Excel spreadsheets. Okay. So when we went to, when I went to them, whatever I had on hand, I just pull them. This is what it is. Okay. So they said, no, we need to work out how each clinic works and what is it. I am a typical Gujarati. Whatever I calculate, whatever I mean going out, what is the money, money coming in, I subtract and whatever remains of mine. Full stop. That is how we started the business. But now it's ours, not mine. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, this is how we started the business, right? So, somewhere in between, they said, you know, they, need, they need to have something that is a model, a unit level model where you know uh, in terms of percentages, what the cost of each. Uh, what kind of variable costs are associated, what kind of fixed costs are associated. So we worked for the whole thing, created a model, the first model came correct, defend came correct, and then we started working on that, even the projections came correct. Two clinics and we thought, you know, maybe this is too conservative. So we changed that, and then we changed that, then we changed that. But overall now, after all these uh, iterations, I, we feel that we've got across with a model that is very sturdy and can be relied upon, but it was absolutely because of uh, intuition. So, what is the benefit of having a model? <laughs> Scalability. When I open my next clinic, I am not worried. Yeah, I put a few numbers and I get it. You know, this is okay. This is going to work. Earlier, I used to calculate for every clinic individually. Now, it is very scalable. I don't need, my interference into the clinic has become negligible. The team is handling everything, you open a fresh clinic, locate a site, end of story. Then the model takes care of everything. Every person is associated with one particular line of the spreadsheet. So, uh, you, you came out of incubation, you graduated out of incubation. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, I think we'll, we'll take some questions. Yeah? I have a question. So, because you have been set from incubation, you occupied a part of it. How you decided that you want to work on What made you pick C fund? I told you I had a very few options. We did not go through a lot of options. I frankly speaking I was talking to three people. Okay. And I had only one thousand. But then the point was whether should I wait for the other to go there, field a little more, or should I just close this? And I closed it. So what made you decide that seed fund is the right was the right answer? It's the card. I mean I, I don't have any logic to But Whatever happened, uh, I don't think, had I wasted some more time, because as soon as we got funded, there were five more chains that came into work. Had I wasted for one, two more months, and I would have lost the first more advantage. There would not have been any advantage. Ajahn, guys, so what do you see you have to put in your money? Okay, so first thing, uh, I know uh, we had uh, a gentleman earlier talk. Uh, I would probably spend one or two minutes uh, talking about what we do, and I think a lot of this is about investors understanding your business, right? Perhaps you should spend a few minutes about where entrepreneurs understand an investor and how we work, so you understand what our compulsions are. Uh, in some ways, you can understand us like we are a mutual fund. In a sense, we take money from many people and we manage the money. We invest in various places like this and we have 22 investments right now, 21 other places right now. Uh, 23. And at some point, we have to get the money back and give it back to our investors and we share the profits with our investors. Okay. So, hence the most important thing that actually nobody has talked about right now. The first thing that we look at before we put money into somebody is can we get money out of somebody. Okay. So, when we talk, in, you know, in, uh, maybe angel investors might or might not care, but for us it's extremely important to say, I invested in an entity, can I get the money back? What does that mean? Now, we invest, it's not a debt, we take equity. That means uh, I give him one rupee, he gives me one share of the company. 
I get a share certificate. What can I do with the share certificate? I can't eat it. Right? The only way I make money is to sell that share certificate. Who can I sell it? There are only two places or three places I can sell it. One, I can sell it back to him. But you know what? He's already a majority owner of the company. I'm a minority owner. He already has full management control. Why would he give me a big price for a minority stake? There's no benefit to him. So he's not likely to give me a great price for the rest of it. Right? Even though he's a nice guy. <laughs> so we have two other ways of looking at it. One is, can we sell it to the public? Can this go public? And I'll come and talk about it. Third is, will some other investor or some other principal come and want to buy this stake? So, so. So for both of these to happen, so the, because we know that a management buyout is perhaps the least likely option, we say, what is the probability of this going public, or what is the probability of, probability of this stake getting acquired? So for something to go public, we sit and do some things, uh, some numbers say, okay, fine. For example, in the healthcare business, for somebody to go public, maybe you need 150 crores of revenues at the minimum, and <coughs> and for you to be acquired, you need to be market leader in that space, right? So. That again grow our thinking. Is it easier to acquire somebody who has 50 clinics in Bombay or somebody with 5 in Bombay, 5 in Delhi, 5 in Bangalore, 5 in Delhi? Our point is if you are spread so thinly, you have actually no value because you don't really have credit mass anywhere. But let's say you have 50 in Bombay, you own Bombay, nobody can enter Bombay without having to deal with it. You become far more important. So we said get critical mass wherever you are. So Bombay will not be the last city. Next city goes to again the idea is to build critical mass very quickly. Okay. So that's the first thing we look at. Before we go ahead and put the money in, can we put, take the money? Beyond that, we said, we can say, okay, what are the skills that we have outside of money that we can help them with? So, I, perhaps, you know, I come from a marketing, media, whatever, we just background. My partners, Anand and others, come from, uh, Anand Praveen, come from a, uh, you know, operations background. Our advisors, uh, our Shiran and others, come from a retail background. So, we said, yes, we have some knowledge to be able to help. So Shri Ram read India's largest chain of books for three times. Very few people understand retail. So I think a lot of his input was pretty invaluable. We, I also come from a design background, so we said very clearly, the key difference is to say, it might be middle class and low brand, but we have to look as classy as anybody else. So simple graphics, one color, you can say light green color with the word mighty fist in one particular way. The clinics have a similar look and feel. Right? The idea is, again, that in our minds, we always associate, I go to doctor, you know, board I go to Dr. XYZ. My point is, you want to say, I, won't, I go to this clinic, I don't care which doctor is. It is. Because I want to create a brand around the clinic and not around the company. Right. That's the second. The third thing is, uh, we have an incubator and a regular farm. So the incubator is called Seed Farm. We have four companies right now. Actually, because we're going to run this three. Right and the farm is called Seed Farm. So, does this fit our economic guidelines? <coughs> so, in Seed Farm, we can give up to 25 crores in the company. In Seed Farm, we can give one, two crores in the company. And typically, the idea of seed farm is once you graduate from seed farm, you automatically get seed farm farm. So you don't have to go through a process all over again, once you kind of done the works. We felt this was a good candidate to fit with us, with us right? Suppose the chemistry, I think we got on reasonably well. You know, even today, we, are, we generally pass, and I think he calls up and I call up, and you know, whatever it is, it, it, there's no big formality that we go through. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, I think that, that's basically what we looked at and said, I think this can be interesting investment. It is exitable. You can push it. It's very exciting because you're creating, you're creating a new category and you're being a leader in that category. So one of the things that we are very hard for about is we don't want to find a number two, number three company in the space. We want to find a number one. So we'd rather that it be in some other space, you know, say, okay, now take this space, become a king in that space. So if you look at any of the companies, Red Bus is the number one in plastic, it's Carver is the number one in cars, AFX is the number one in advertising, print is the number one in you know, Basile is the number one in group hospitals, this guy is the number one in clinics in Bombay and hopefully it's up public in India. So we want to really fund at the small level people who become number one. Because it's a huge premium to be number one. Right? So these are just some of the things that we go through. Okay. I hope I answered that. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Yeah, okay, I'll come to you. Yeah. Did you look at the team where the idea was So, you know, one of the things that I, I, I think it's a personal comment and many people won't agree with it. A lot of American thinking is, yeah, I want to judge a great team. Right? But frankly, in India, if you look at all the great companies that have ever been created, there is no great company in India was ever created by a right? team. If you look at it, right? So, Lockery had Sanjeev Janani, and Big Man Trip had one guy, Yantra has one guy, and so on and so forth. So, our point is that unlike the West where everybody does his team thing, Maybe it's a little rare in there. Kaibali was working more in 
members of them that funny and the other people kind of gravitate around them. We understand that India thinks that if you can't just come and say, you team, that's very Western thinking. Maybe you say there's a good guy who is personal, who can gather a team around him, you find him. But, uh, yeah, but slowly and steadily, now we have a very good team. So as I said, you know, I don't, I don't actually go into the operation of each of the buildings anymore. Uh, now the team is fundamentally very strong, but it, the team wasn't present when he got us to see it. So you were getting all started on this team, but practically. The team wasn't in place when... when it's started. very hard to expect a team to be in place. You know, our mentality is a little different. In some cases, we have three guys come together and say a team. But in many cases, one guy, I am happy to go. So you see, fundamentally, what is the idea? How the idea is? I think I go with the person and the opportunity. You know, nobody finds the idea people for the business. Ideas are a diamond as well. Business is what, what ends up making a difference. So far as it's important to create businesses that make a difference. So we are not interested in yet another IT services company because it's not likely to make a big difference. But we are interested in something that will be another one, create a new standard, create something new and create some uh, huge consumer benefit that did not exist before. So we looked at the opportunity, we looked at the TV, I mean, with, with him and his dad and his background, we understood the debt equipment business, we understood the cost of, we understood the cost of getting it. So we knew that the cost would not be a big issue because we already knew how to master cost. So I think where we were able to add value is probably in the leader. So was to say, okay, what should the retail experience be like? Because traditionally you come from a cost angle, you come and say everything should be the cheapest out there. But I think one of the things that we impress is, look, it's not going to cost. Spend a little money, get this design done. Make it look nice. Make all the clinics look similar. Have one brand across. Have people to be able to see something in Vilepane and also something talk about it and say it's the same thing. We spent a lot of time with that and he actually, I think he, in, in the beginning stages he didn't understand why we were pushing for that. Uh, we, it took time for me to fathom that, but uh, that, that's the benefit you have if you are getting into it. Uh, <laughs> I have one question. Yeah, I think there was a question. I told you. Yeah. Um, you know, Mahesh, you've had some successful exits in and maybe made some of the commerce also. So, so this is, uh, I don't know, uh, not going to go on in the background. So, you speak as a This is something which is retail, where you invest in healthcare. This is in the retail format. So, uh, from an investor's point of view, how different do you see? Uh, an exit where you see something in a digital, which is e-commerce maybe, and something like retail. Where would investors? We are not digital investors. We are investors in largely consumer-focused businesses. You know, consumer consumes digital. A consumer consumes dentistry. A consumer buys bus tickets. A consumer buys cars. A consumer, you know. So we understand a little bit about retail consumers. We are a little more free to see. Even though we have done B2B, but we are very comfortable doing B2C because we understand a little bit about building a brand. Right? Uh, also, contrary to a lot of people, <coughs> we believe in creating sectors as opposed to investing in pre-existing sectors. So we did a portfolio examination. We figured 80% plus of our portfolio was in a sector called not yet a sector. There is no dentistry chain sector in India. There was none before we started. Now there is a dentistry chain sector. There was no automotive portal sector before Carvalho. There was no intercity bus ticket sector before Carvalho. There was no advertising portal sector before Fax. There was no rural hospital network before Vatsal. In each of these cases, we are very happy actually to get into a place that is not a sector and create a sector around it. Rather than sit back and do the analysis and say how big is the sector, what, what space can we create. So it's a little counter review. So we are ex extremely happy like I said, 80% of investors are in things for not yet I hope that answers that question. No, but is it, from an investor point of view, isn't there a benefit in the product? Like, you know, if you see yourself in your brand, putting some amount of money in, sort of, when you doing it, what was there, you know, back in your mind right there? Because you're not funding the A league, you were actually funding maybe like the... So I didn't fund the uh, Mintra, I funded it through. Exactly. That also we didn't do it through seed fund, I did it personally. Right. So, uh, my point there was very clearly that in the area of crowdsourced designs, uh, improved the trade sector around. I did that, I sold the country, successfully made money, everything is happy. So again, it was number one in the first instance. Mitra was not doing that. In fact, Mitra has changed this model second times. Can I hear a question? I'll come to you, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I just want to find out, is there any process uh, or any way that you've tracked uh, 
the company where you invest. Absolutely. We have more meetings every month. Yes, now, what are the kind of reports that you have to get or something? Absolutely. Did, did you have to mortgage your children or something? <laughs> <laughs> so, you have board meetings where you have a generally casual discussion. I have never made a presentation till date. Never. I did not make one today. So, it's, it's not around PowerPoint presentations. It's just, yeah. At the board meeting, you are asked numbers. So, as they write, right, as they have money. They ask you the number, you tell the numbers. If they don't like it, they tell you both that something else needed. If they like it, it's a very good continue. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. How do you, I you yeah. How do you approach the VC? Approach? I am not the right person to talk. <laughs> 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 Maybe I, I, I can help. Sir, give it a shot. In case I don't know people who know you, so I can't. Uh, uh, I can't say meet you uh, through. No, actually, uh, uh, for example, the the last company that we met was somebody from Pune. I did not know from Madhya Pradesh. Email me, I will do. Right. So, contrary to what somebody else said, we have we do respond to people. We get a help a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So we get an average uh, 200 to 250 business plans a month. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's a lot. I can tell you that uh, in this year we we'll probably see 3,000 business plans, and we we'll probably find five companies. So it's 500, 600 to one. Uh, not that I'm, I'm driving that ratio. So the thing is, yes, there is a chance for that, but there's no substitute to following up. Trying to find a connection. How can you connect with me? It's not very difficult. Right? Uh, at the end of every one of these meetings, I think. How many people in this room have my email address? How many people in this room have my Twitter ID? So, yeah, I, I don't think very nice. Right? And he replies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I do reply. Uh, plus, there are, you know, I have six, seven other partners in the company. So, you can connect with me directly. Or you can connect with me through LinkedIn or through Facebook. We are reasonably <coughs> socially active and on each of these places. It is in our interest to be here because I am here because I, I would hope that you know I can find some good companies here. Just like you would you would hope to find some good investors. I'm here for exactly the same reason. This is a nice natural community. So we absolutely do have an interest in finding an investor now. The only thing is that you must understand that it's a bit of a uh weight strong on there. Uh, this year the ratio will be 500 to 1, last year it was 300 to 1. So these are high dots, but it, these are not insuperable dots. And the many, for example, one guy who, who came to us before a year ago, we didn't feel he was ready, he went, executed, we're calling him back next week, so we think. Even though one year ago we said no, he went, worked pretty hard, we're calling him back. So just because we say no one doesn't mean that it's a no forever. Yeah. So one year again. Yeah, one year in this case. Yeah. Is it mandatory to see traction as if it is a start of making money or not, only then I will invest or I think that's all. I mean, every, in this case, you, we had three uh, dentist clinics, but we shut them down. Yeah. We went to zero and started again. Zero and we started again. And then we did not make money for the next three months. It's more than of passion than the... So it is more of, you know, see, passion is a means of capturing an opportunity. So once we define an opportunity together, so let's own this middle class dentistry brand segment together, right? But to make that, to win that opportunity, you need somebody with a lot of passion, knowledge and drive. So we felt we had the right guys to do that. We felt maybe we could add a little bit in terms of saying, okay guys, you know, let's think about the brand, let's think about, so the only, our only reason to get to the film is, I'm not an economist, I'm a copywriter and a filmmaker, my own background is creative. Right? So I'm not an Excel guru or anything like that. Yeah, so just figure out how easy to scale. So, what is your growth plan? You're at six right now. What? We have six, 400 construction, two sites taken, these will be constructed by the end of this month. We'll be at 50 by the end of the year. Yeah. So, to be able to go to 50 within two years, it's not a joke. I mean, most people spend years doing one. But to go to 50 in two years, what you need to do is you need to be able to very quickly roll it out and understand that there is a formula of sorts that works. So, all we are trying to arrive is the you, you want to roll it out, we want to roll it out. Let's find this formula, formula sooner rather than later. So we tried a few formulae. Till we, the first two didn't work for me. Now we believe we have something. So we look at that, just go for it. I'm confused. Uh, did you talk about that Yes. So, uh, okay, seat okay, fund, uh, the office is in Mahalakshmi. For those who don't know this, we have a famous studio. 
We have 2,500 square feet of space, which includes an incubation place for up to five companies. The benefit of that is that we sit there, right? So you can come see us five times a day if you want. And you can also be outcubated, which is you can still sit in the office, but sit with us virtually every day. So uh, it's not, uh, so right now there are three companies out there. And unlike many other companies, we tend to not, actually we don't even think we have formally announced the investment in my dentist as yet. Not yet. So even though uh, many other companies boast about investments early, for us it's very important to give them as much of a lead as possible. So now that we have, he's out of incubation, he is a leader, we are happy to come in. So by the way, we've invested in him over a year ago. Because it's not important for me to build my brand as much as it's for him to build his. You know, when we invested in Netbus, we announced within two months, three other bus <coughs> companies got found. So we drive us a project back, let the company grow and then announce so that there's a competition. <coughs> Yeah. yeah, just for you know, just a suggestion, uh, you can, which we can consider as a value and service for my dentist. Uh, there's this company called Stemade, I don't know if you've heard about them. You've heard about them? Stemade. Stemade. No questions? Yeah. Can you share any failures? Any failures? Sure. Uh, so, you know, the first one, we had two companies that did not do very well. Uh, one was them, uh, I think I uh, one, was a, was a, one of them was a company out of IIT Bombay, uh, which was building kind of a group wear, like 37 signals, like backpack. And uh, we figured it did not do well for a couple of reasons, so we funded it. Uh, but what typically happened was, I think uh, we wanted, we were trying to urge the entrepreneur to go into the market faster. In this case, the entrepreneur's CEO was also his father, who was also a professor at IIT Bombay who insisted that nothing would go until it was the most perfect piece of technology and the most complex and advanced piece of technology. So it was a, it was a pretty much hard fight, but we did not win against somebody and the father. So finally in the end we kind of gave up and said, look, if it isn't working, let's just shake hands, be friends and call it twins. Right? So in that case, the father is still fine. How did we exit the company? How did we? Exit the company. So basically in that case, we didn't exit the company. The entrepreneur exited the company. We had the we have the assets of the company. We, we actually managed to sell this the code to somebody else and recover some one third of the money back. We did lose money in that. So it was a learning experience for us. Uh, you know, uh, in that case, uh, in another case, uh, we funded a financial services board. Uh, it was not really financial; it was basically a financial competitive side, which is the best credit card for you, which is the best X Y Z for you, and so on and so forth. Uh, what really turned out unfortunately was we funded it right before the entire financial market crashed. So it was highly dependent, now obviously we could not have predicted that, the entrepreneur could not have predicted that. So it was highly dependent on the marketing spends of credit card companies, banks, loans companies and so on and so forth. The poor guys could not, were not able to do very well because everybody's marketing spends went down, not, the, not just the marketing spends go down. The guys in other split, you know, in other allied fields came and undercut us to loss making point. So finally in the end what we were able to do was still, we, uh, we worked with the entrepreneur, we found somebody else who had a brick and mortar financial distribution business. We merged the companies and actually think we won't lose money on that, in that case. We'll get something out because that merged company may go public and we have some stake in that. Right? So we have failed, we have failed all. And we, uh, and we will turn it back to one of our current investing, in, in investing companies is uh, an entertainment company, uh, like a comic book for adult, adult kind of entertainment company. We worked very hard to make print work, but we found a huge barrier in getting through distribution, getting distributed to a landmark where we did distribute to crossword and so on and so forth. Right? Because there only one coming to the title. So what we so we tried very hard to make the print distribution work. We failed. So we pulled back and now we are attempting to do mobile distribution by putting it on a mobile phone and see if we can distribute it. We still be behind the fact that we back and see how far it goes. We fail a lot yet, we fail all the time. We don't have any, uh, any, uh, any guarantee of success. Do you want to talk about any, any, any failures that you think you faced? Some of the plans may have not worked out as what uh, you would have, you know, right? Uh, like for example, some of the marketing plans that we have talked out, we did a lot of uh, SMSs. He hates it, the Dr. Madra side. <laughs> He was really random with uh, passing on a lot of SMSs, emails, things didn't work out, but that's that's the only thing that looking back I can see didn't work out. 
So there's no surprise at some point. We tell them, look, they're coming in here, we'll help you grow. At some point, we will leave, it'll still be your business at the end. And that time will be around between 16 and 17. There's still a lot of time. Lot of time. Hey, give this guys a big hand. Uh,